Hello pumpkin people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen, and this is my channel, Harvest and Holly, where I talk about fall, Halloween, Christmas, winter, basically the cozy seasons and holidays all year round. We don't do summer here, so don't bother leaving me a comment that it's too early. So in today's video, I have my first like real fall haul. I've already done an early fall haul or a pre-fall haul where I shared some items that I would be decorating with for my early fall decor because I stretch out the fall decorating season by starting in like the beginning of August or the end of July with early fall decor. Sorry for the quotations because I think it's a legit thing so I don't need to like do this like it's fake. I do early fall decorating and then I build upon that with my real fall stuff. So I already did an early fall haul. I'm gonna have that link below if you wanna check it out because that stuff will all be in my fall decorating as well and there's some really good items in that video. And I am going to do a video about pre-fall decorating. I asked if you guys wanted to see this or that first and you voted for this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today but I'm gonna be talking about early fall decorating ideas in my next video or two. So stay on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you have not already. This is gonna be a chatty video. They almost always are. So take it or leave it, you've been warned. Okay, so let's start off with Etsy. This first item I'm so excited about because it's kind of special to me. And that is this bunch of preserved agonis. Agonis is the name of this greenery. So this is real, it's just preserved. And you guys can probably see it's this gorgeous like plummy burgundy color. I have been obsessed with Agonis since the pretty much the day that I got engaged. I started looking up floral inspiration. That is how I became a wedding and event florist because I did my own wedding flowers. And this stuff was a must have for me. And so I haven't seen this since my wedding because I got married last October. I just thought it would be so cool to have in my home. Um, for the fall season as kind of like, you know, a reminder of my wedding and just the fact that I love it and I'm incorporating this color this year. So uh, the website says that this should last at least a year, but all of the preserved stuff that I've ever purchased lasts like years and years and years. So I'm expecting it to be a lot longer than just a year if I take good care of it. And it's not super cheap, but for me, I was thinking if I wanted to have this fresh throughout the season, I'd have to buy it like three, four, five times. And then it would actually, that would be more expensive and I wouldn't get to hold on to it for year after year. So um, like I said, I'll have it linked down below as well as this other stuff. Okay, so another floral item that I purchased off of Etsy. If I can have the real deal, whether it's fresh or preserved, I almost always go that direction, but it doesn't make sense to try to buy real plums on a stem, um, which is what I have here. Now I pretty much never buy things that are exclusively for my early fall decorating. I always want all of that stuff to transition with me into fall and I'm hoping to find a place for these with my fall decorating, but I really got these for my early fall. I think these would be gorgeous in one of the vases that I have. So they are like this individually, and I couldn't find these at any of the craft stores, so that's why I purchased off of Etsy. I'm gonna try to put pricing on the screen somewhere so you guys can know how much they cost. I don't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, I got three stems of those. So I have been on the hunt for a vintage fall landscape oil painting. And I have the biggest antique mall near me, which I do have some antique mall items to share in this video. I did find one, I'll insert a picture of it, but it just, it wasn't right, wasn't big enough, wasn't exactly what I was going for. And if you didn't know, there are tons of Etsy shops who have digital prints of all different kinds, not just oil paintings, like literally anything. And so I found some vintage, faux vintage inspired oil painting landscape prints whew, for less than $5. And I'm, I'm loving them. So the first one, is this I want to say the shop name is olive and oak I could be wrong but this was an under their fall section and it's just like it's a birch tree and then actually there's two people here they kind of look like they might be fishing or something or just on just on a little jaunt love this and the frames that I got for these I was debating between a vintage like ornate kind of frame or something 
super sleek and modern. And I live in a mid-century modern ranch built in the 50s. So my house has modern, it's been renovated to be like, you know, current modern, not mid-century modern style. And so the little splash of vintage or vintage inspired mixed with a more modern look, I think works really well in my home versus going all vintage. So that's why I went with these it's like a, a white oak frame from Amazon. I'll make sure to have these linked. So this is the first one. So the other one I got is this, and it's just like a forest. And I'll show you what the two look like together. I just think they're so cool and unique. And it's not like something that you see in Hobby Lobby or Michaels or even Joann's, which you guys know I am a Joann's stan but they don't have anything like this there. I guess Hobby Lobby has some landscape art, but I really wanted some that were fall specific. Okay, so the next couple items that I got are more of these dried pumpkin gourds. I hauled these, well, I hauled like a different shape in a smaller size, but I found these ones that are legitimately pumpkins. They look crusty and old, but I like it. Um, these are like maybe three or four dollars a piece. I don't know if any of these are left I will link the shop that I got them from. I just think these are so cool and unique And again, it's a natural item. I pretty much decorate with probably like 90% 95% real pumpkins versus artificial ones um, And I decorate with a lot of pumpkins you guys So these were perfect because I get to keep these year after year. I don't have to toss them I do like the fact that I get to toss the real ones but and not have to store them, but it is nice to have some like ready to go when I'm ready to decorate and the pumpkins aren't out yet. Okay, let's move on to Amazon. Like I said, those frames on my prints are from Amazon. I also grabbed this small picture. This is the Creative Co-op brand. In my early fall haul, I shared the larger version and so now I have the smaller one to go along with it. I want to say this was $8. So this is a really good deal. I'll, I'll make sure that I have both of them linked down below if you like both sizes. I just think it would be really cute to have like one kind of a fall foliage in this and a, another kind in this with them next to each other. Or maybe the same kind, not sure. But I just wanted the set. So I grabbed that. Another thing that I got from Amazon are these pheasant feathers and I can't remember how much these were but like I said I'll put pricing on the screen uh, and you get this many in a bunch I want to say it said like 10 or 15 so I even like them just in this little jar I just put them in here um, just so that they would not be you know flying around with the air conditioning blasting and stuff but I think they're even cute like this and I was thinking about putting them in like a glass vase or something like that so probably not this one but I do kind of like how that looks this I'm so excited about so it is that this is a blanket scarf but I'm not gonna use it as a scarf this was only four dollars four or five dollars and it's this gorgeous like brown tone subtle plaid it looks so high-end I can't believe that this was only four dollars but if you were on my channel last year, or probably years before that as well, I use scarves as decor. So like I'll put them as a table runner. I'll put them to look like a blanket. I think last year I had like one sticking out of this crock here with like pumpkins layered on it. And so for $4, I could not pass it up. Like if I want to use this as a table runner, a table runner is going to cost me at least 15 to $20 on the lower end, I feel like. So yeah i just and this is the color this is a color story that i really like for fall of course i'm going to be adding like more vibrancy to it but yeah it's huge and it's soft too by the way like this is a really a really good score i'm really excited about it okay so let's move on to kirkland's i did uh tell you guys that i bought this scent sachet there so this is the scent Welcome Fall. It's crisp apples, pumpkin with spicy cinnamon clove and creamy vanilla. This is so freaking strong. I put this in my car and I'm almost considering taking it out of my car because it's overwhelming. So these are super, super strong from Kirkland's. You could probably stash this somewhere in your living room and, and have it sent up your whole living room. 
Um, and I don't know exactly how much these are because the price is not on it, but I want to say normally they're like $2.50. But the other item that I got, which you guys were guessing in the comments what it was because I was being a little secretive about it, um, it is this light up cane, caning pumpkin cane rattan, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, the light is not super bright in there so you can't see, but I was trying to tell you guys in the video, there's only like one small section that lights up. If you don't like that, the back side of it is just solid with no holes in it no lighting or anything and this is the smaller size i got this to go either in my bathroom or on my nightstand in my bedroom for just like a subtle simple touch of fall because i don't like to go overboard in those spaces they are the smallest spaces in my home but of course like i'm i'm the fall girl i have to have a splash of fall like literally everywhere so yeah i got this and this is 19.99 I think the bigger one is $24.99. Um, I just don't have space for both of them, so I went with the smaller size because my bathroom and my bedroom are super tiny, like I said. Okay, so Joann's does not have any fall out yet. In my early fall decor video, I shared a couple items from there, and then I went back and I bought a couple more things, which I posted on my community tab, but I'm gonna show you here in case you missed that so they have this like summer collection it's called place and time oasis that was rust and terracotta themed and it works perfect for fall as well and i ended up getting this towel on sale for like 75 percent off or something like that of 9.99 so it's a really nice dish towel it has that kind of mud cloth sort of a look to it maybe not mud cloth it's this kind of like waffle, very organic look. So I did get two of them and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them in my kitchen. Sometimes I use kitchen towels as like a decorative towel in the bathroom or I am hosting a bridal shower in October and whenever I do bridal showers, I have gift baskets for the games that we play and I thought that these could maybe go in the gift baskets. I'm thinking about doing like a mulled wine gift basket and like a spice cider gift basket i don't know we'll see so you may see these or i may give them away i'm not sure yet and then the other item that i got and a lot of you went out and looked for this or you purchased it online and i don't think it's online anymore it was probably in low stock when i posted about it because i know some of you were able to get it and then it wasn't on the website so there probably wasn't many but if you saw my joann's uh shop with me video like two videos ago they did still have a few of the larger size of this in my store. So if you just check out your store, you may get lucky. And that is this doormat. I have it folded in half. It's actually really large. And again, this is from the summer collection, but summer who? Summer where? I want to live where this is summer because like summer, I feel like has always been like watermelons and flamingos and stuff like that. But this is, I could get behind summer if it looked like this. I love the tassels and I got this for $14. I think it was originally 40. So definitely check out your Joann's. If you go in there looking for fall decor, make sure you check out that Oasis summer collection because obviously this stuff is going to work perfect for fall. Are you guys ready for a little bit of Halloween? I just have two Halloween items to share with you. When it comes to Halloween, I'm into the more vintage look. I, I don't do a ton of Halloween decorating. I do definitely decorate for Halloween though, but for some reason I've never shared it on my channel. I think it's because a lot of Octobers, I end up taking the month off because it's my favorite month out of the year and I just live it up, like truly live it up in October. I'm not gonna do that. Th I mean, I'm gonna live it up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna post videos this October. But anyways, by the way, like I said, rambling. I'm rambling. Last year, I did make a Halloween hutch video. It was really crappy, it was really rushed. I uploaded it and I never made it public because I was just like, this video sucks, it's not good. So I still have that up if you guys would want me to upload like an extremely early Halloween video this year, like I could upload it in the next couple weeks or really whenever, but let me know if you guys would want me to upload that. Okay, so the one, or one of the Halloween items that I got is this little ceramic tree from 
um, the at-home store, I saw Jamie from Jamie Loving All Seasons haul this. I think it was this one, and I was like, I have to have that. And um, I've wanted one of these for a long time, but I just don't see myself using like the big one, you know, like the larger ones. So when I, when I saw that they had this smaller one at the at-home store, it was $7.99, I decided to get it. And it does light up, you probably can't tell. Can you tell? Maybe a little bit. So yeah, I grabbed that. Okay, last couple items. These are from my antique mall. I went antiquing with my mom, it was super fun. But I found this, and I don't really know if this is truly vintage. Definitely not antique, I don't think. Um, part of me is like, there are things about it that make it look like it really is old, but then there are other things that I'm like, maybe it's not old. So if you have any insight on this, let me know. So it's just like a regular glass jar. I don't even know if this jar is original to the cat um, topper, but it is this creepy cat with the rust little felt hat and a little pom-pom on top. Part of me feels like maybe this is old because if you can see where the whiskers are coming out, it's damaged. Some of the whiskers are cut off. Um, I don't think that like with most replicas, they don't purposely like bang it up like that, like cutting things off of it to make it appear more realistic. But you never know. You have to be careful at antique malls because a lot of times they put stuff that is not antique. Like I've literally multiple times seen Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby items at my antique mall. So yeah, let me know if you know anything about this piece. It was, I wanna say $18. And I just had to have it because for Halloween in my hutch, I decorate with smaller items like this. And I was thinking I could fill this up with the candy corn that has like the brown, white, and orange. Or, but I thought that would be a cute look. So I grabbed this. And then this last item is the real reason why I went to the antique mall. This actually is not fall or Halloween, but I envisioned this with my fall decor. I'll insert a picture in a, in a minute here of the photo that I saw that inspired me to want one of these. And it's huge, so let's see if I can get it in frame. It is this picnic basket and i'm so excited about this like i had mentioned i live in a mid-century modern ranch i think the year it was built was 1952 and um i knew i knew nothing about these picnic baskets but i found out that this one is one from the 50s um and so i wasn't like trying purposely to be time period specific but i feel like i do have to be careful with the amount of vintage and the look of the vintage items that I bring into my house because it's such a specific like architectural style. So this is, I thought it was cool that this basket is from the same time period that my old, old house was built in. And you can see how big it is. So like I said, I'll insert a picture that I saw on Pinterest that made me want a picnic basket. And I was thinking with this um, scarf that I got, I could sort of like put it on top, like you see with the blankets in that photo. And the fact that it has these orangey tone handles made it perfect to use for fall. And this basket ended up being $18 or $17. Okay, so that was my fall haul, you guys. I'm sure there's at least one or two more of these to come. I mean, it is only mid-July at this point, but fall is sneaking up on us. Like it's coming out at pretty much every store, or even if it's just like fall candles or fall florals, it's pretty much showing up everywhere and I am here for it. Let me know what your favorite item from this haul was. I am curious to know what you guys like best. Um, I think my favorite are the vintage inspired oil painting prints or this guy like I just I don't have anything true vintage Halloween so if he's really vintage he's like my first real piece and that kind of excites me but like I said I don't really know if he is or not so if you are not already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my fall Halloween and Christmas videos that are to come and thank you guys so much for spending time with me I truly appreciate it 
I love you, my pumpkin people, and I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.